Hello, I'm Tony Lockwood, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Transformation Leaders Podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to share real stories about my guest and I have supported organisations to deliver change and transformation, as well as sharing recordings from the Transformation Leaders of 1% Club Roundtable sessions, where we discuss better practices with the aim of helping you introduce these marginal gains that can make a massive difference to your performance and the outcome from any change initiative. Enjoy and please subscribe. It really does help us to get this message out to more people. Change is a foot in every organisation. It's an essential part of growth, progress, and let's face it, survival. But not all change initiatives are created equal. In fact, many well-intentioned changes fail to live up to their potential, leaving employees feeling frustrated and confused. Over the last couple of years, as part of the Transformation Leaders podcast, I have discussed change and transformation with over 50 practitioners. And although every episode has been different, there are some common themes, and I'd like to share these with you today. To increase the chances of success, it's important to heed the following five key principles of change management. Number one, establish a clear vision and a goal for the change. What are you trying to achieve? Why is this change necessary? Employees need to understand both the what and the why in order to buy into the initiative and support its implementation. Number two, communicate early and often. Change can be frightening, so it's important to keep employees in the loop from day one. Share information about the vision and the goals for the change, as well as the timeline and expected impacts. And don't forget to solicit feedback along the way. Employee input can be invaluable in ensuring that a change initiative is successful. Number three, be realistic in your expectations. Change is hard. So it's important to set realistic expectations for what can be achieved and how long it will take to achieve it. Trying to do too much too quickly is a recipe for disaster. So start small and build on successes over time. Number four, get buy-in from stakeholders at all levels. Change doesn't happen in a vacuum. It requires buy-in from stakeholders at all levels of an organisation. Make sure that key decision makers are on board with the vision and goals for the change before moving forward with implementation. And finally, number five, build a comprehensive plan. A successful change initiative requires careful planning and execution. Build a comprehensive plan that takes into account all of the difficult different facets of change, including communication, training, HR policy changes, and more. So there you have it, the five key principles of change management. By following these principles, you can increase the chances of success for any change initiatives within your organisation. Implementing change can be hard, but by being thoughtful and deliberate in your approach, you can set yourself up for success. Which principle do you think is most important? Let us know in the comments below. And are you looking for more change management resources? If you are, check out the transformationleadershub.com. Please do share your thoughts. And if you'd like to get involved in a future episode of the Transformation Leaders podcast, please reach out to me and we can schedule a call. So bye for now. The Transformation Leaders Hub is a community exclusively for those that work in change and transformation. A place to build your network, to share your experience and to open up new opportunities. We have a range of best practice guides, training and coaching available to help you achieve the most from your career. So if you're not already a member, go check us out. If you are like me, you will get to a point in your career when working from a project to project basis is not fulfilling you. That was me in 2017, and I decided to make the transition and build and scale a consulting business at that time. Since then, I've been supporting others to do exactly the same, and I've recently created Is There a Consulting Business in You? Scorecard a 22 question assessment across five core areas that provide you with a unique personal report highlighting the areas that require focus should you decide to establish a consulting business.
It's totally free and you can gain access by going over to the website scorecard.thetransformationleadershub.com or by clicking on the links in the show notes. Let me know what you think. See you soon.